Welcome to edubediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on quadrilaterals. So in this video we will discuss some of the theorems related to quadrilaterals which are very helpful to solve the problems related to parallelograms, rhombus, rectangle, whatever the quadrilateral we are using. So these theorems are like we can say that is a necessity and basic needs to prove the quadrilaterals or to prove the questions of parallelograms. So let's get started with the first theorem. This is theorem number one. Now. The theorem says that a diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. Means, if this is a diagonal, it divides into two congruent triangles. So, we need to prove that first. Let's write what is given. It's given that it's a parallelogram. Parallelogram. So, we can say that opposite sides are equal and parallel okay then okay now let's see how we can prove this so we need to prove prove that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC so let's see how we can this so let's discuss the proof now if we consider a triangle ADC and triangle ABC we can clearly see that AC equals to AC which is common you can write it as common and we can say that angle DCA equals to angle BAC we can say that they are alternate angles now why they are alternate angles let's see why because it's a parallelogram it's given so opposite sides are parallel and if we extend this line see we extend this line and if we consider AC as transversal and you must be knowing that from properties of lines and angles if if there are two parallel lines and transversal and there is a transversal AC so these two angles are alternative angles and they are always equal similarly we can say that angle DAC equals to angle BCA same why because they are alternate angles right now we have three condition one two and three so we can say that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC by A S A rule. Why? Because we have two angles and an included side. So this is how we can prove these type of theorems. Now let's discuss the next theorem number two. Now the theorem number two says that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal. So we need to prove that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal. So let's see how we can do this. Now let's say we have a parallelogram like this okay now let's say this is a diagonal and let's say it's a b c d now we need to prove that this side equals to this and this side equals to this side however they are parallelogram so we can say that what's given if they are parallelogram we can say that a b is parallel to d c and a d is parallel to BC now so let's say how we can prove so first we need to write what we need to prove that opposite sides are equal now let's discuss the proof now same way consider triangle ABD and triangle BCD now so in this triangle again AB is parallel to DC and BD is transversal. So we can say that this angle equals to this angle why they are alternative interior angles and this angle equals to this angle again they are alternative interior angles and this side is common. So again we can prove the same way so we can write angle a D B 
equals to angle B or we can write angle C B D why because they are alternate angles and same way we can write angle B D C equals to angle A B D again they are alternate angles now and same way B D equals to B D why because it's a common side so we can write triangle A B D is congruent to triangle B C D by A S A rule so we can say that A B equals to C D and A D equals to B C by CPCT. CPCT means congruent parts of congruent triangles are always equal. So this is how we can prove these type of theorems. So let's discuss the next theorem, theorem number 3. Now, theorem says that if each pair of opposite sides of quadrilateral is equal, then it is a palograph. Now, we have to prove it palograph. First, we need to write what is given. So it's given that opposite sides of quadrilateral are equal. So we can say that CD equals to AB and AD equals to BC. So we need to prove that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Now, so let's see how we can prove that. So let's discuss the proof. So if you consider triangle again ADC and triangle ABC now let's see how we can prove them congruent now it's given CD equals to AB it's given and AD equals to BC again it's given right and AC equals to AC it's a common side so we have three set of condition one two and three so we can say that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC by SS root so why because we have three sides equal so we can say that now triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC and since they are congruent so we can say that AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to CB why by CPCT why CPCT because CPCT say that if two triangles are congruent the opposite pairs the corresponding pairs are equal and parallel since now the sides are equal and parallel so it forms a parallelogram. So we can say that ABCD is a parallelogram. So this is how we can prove these type of theorem. So thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com. Keep watching further videos. Have a nice day.